Okay, so today we will be building a drive straight robot with our Juno and MPU6050 controlled by a PID algorithm. Okay, so before we start programming, let's look at the circuit diagram. So we have our two motors, left, right, left motor and right motor, which plugs into port four and port three on the Adafruit motor shield respectively. Again, I'm using the Adafruit motor shield. You might want to use like uh, another uh, motor driver if you want to. Doesn't really matter, but you'll have to uh, change the code. And then this is our MPU 6050. The VCC goes to five volts, ground goes to ground, and uh, SCL goes to pin 21 on the mega, and SDA goes to pin 20 on the mega. Now, it goes to pin 20 and 21 on the mega, but it might be a di bit different for the Arduino Uno, so make sure to change the pinout if you're using an Uno. Now, what exactly is a PID control? So a PID stands for Proportional Integral and Derivative. So it's the proportional times the KP plus the integral times the KI and derivative times the KD, which equals the angle steering output. And the K values are all constants, and they're basically arbitrary values. So they're random for every, they're different for every robot. So the ones that I use might not work for your robot. Now the proportional control. So we need a target variable. So that's the direction, you, the angle you want your robot to drive in. And we need the error and a KP, which is our arbitrary value and the angle to store the steering value. And in the loop section, we'll just do error, which is equal to the target minus the angle pitch output, which again, okay, so my gyro sensor is actually placed perpendic perpendicular to the base of the robot. So you would have to change the code if you want to use the yaw or roll. So then you take the error or the output of your target minus angle pitch output and multiply it by the KP and that gives you your angle steering output. Now for the integral control, the integral is basically checking the error in your steering over time. So we need the integral variable and the KI variable, and the integral is equal to the integral plus the error. So every time the loop goes around, it'll accumulate the error that the robot is making. And so the error, the integral is usually a very small, very, or the ki is usually a very small number, and um, this is equal to the error times the. Now our whole um, code is error times the kp plus the integral times the ki is equal to the angle. Now to the derivative. So for derivative control, we have a derivative variable and a last error variable, and so. The derivative is equal to the error minus the last error, so it basically checks itself compared to the last error to see if the correction that the robot made this time was a good correction. And so now our whole loop to check the angle is the error times the KP plus the integral times the KI plus the derivative times the KD. We also need the actual libraries for programming the MPU 6050. So I'm using this library by Jay Roberg. And this is also the one that Workshop used. And so it actually has a lot of files. It's, as you can see, it's also for Raspberry Pi, ESP32, and BeagleBone Black. But um, we only need the Arduino one, so we navigate to that file. And out of these files, we only actually need two of them, and which is this MPU6050 one and the I2C dev. And so then you just copy those files into the library files in your files for Arduino. Okay, so now we're actually in the Arduino IDE to check out the code. So again, I'm using the Adafruit Motor Shield. You can use a different um, controller. Uh, so we had declared the Adafruit Motor Shield. The left motor goes to port 4, right motor goes to port 3. Um, our all our variables for the con PID control are constants K, P, K, I, and K, D. Again, these are for these are arbitrary values, random values. Um, you'll just need to experiment with it. I took about like I'd say thirty minutes to find mine, so it doesn't take that long. Um, motor speed, uh, angle, and then 
variables for gyroscope. And then this is all a gyro calibration program. So again, that's from Jonebot Workshop. They have a really good MPU 6050 calibration program. So if you want to learn more about that, go check that out. And then, um, so this is a proportional control error equals target minus angle pitch output. And then our integral is integral plus the error and derivative is equal to the error minus the last error. And we multiply by the KP for the error, integral times the KI and derivative times the KD and add those all together to get the angle. Uh, then we set the default speed of the motors to the motor speed. And then we say, tell them to run forward. And so this is our program for if the robot is veering to the right. So if we if it's veering to the right, we'll have a positive gyro reading. So we um, have to add it to the right motor, add the speed to the right motor, and subtract the speed from the left motor. And the same thing, but vice versa, for if it's veering to the left, we add it to the left motor and subtract it from the right motor. And then this piece of code is actually really important. So remember in our derivative statement, it was minus the last error. So last error would really be just one constant if, we, if it wasn't for this program. So every time the loop ends, we just have the error being set to the last error so that the new error can be compared to the old error. And that's pretty much it for the code. So now we can just test it out. OK, so as you can see, when it's going off the path, it still stays on the same latitude and corrects itself, and this is a result of the integral. The robot works pretty good until you like do it a way too much, uh, and it just like goes way off. See, like then the motor speed is actually over two hundred fifty-five, so it doesn't know what to do. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.